This is a quick overview of the Foxer Pulse Repair battery charger. The rule being that if you have a YouTube channel, you have to make video reviews of absolutely everything you buy and then pray to God that the Google algorithm takes mercy on you, which is actually highly unlikely these days. I went to start the car a few days ago and the battery was completely dead. There wasn't even enough power for the central lock-in to unlock the doors. The problem is that I hate driving in Thailand and I only drive when it's absolutely essential. During normal times, there are quite a few times when I need to drive. I have to go and pick kids up from school and I have to go and buy things. And using the car like that keeps the battery charged. But during this virus lockdown, there is no need to do any of those things. So the car has just been left. A few days ago, I decided I'd better start it and give it a little run. And it was already too late. The battery was completely dead. Had there been an urgent need to use the car, I could have jump started it. But there wasn't an urgent need. And I always feel that when you, when you put a huge jolt of energy through an empty battery, it doesn't do anything much good. So I decided to look for a better solution. And this little charger is a solution that I came up with. It was dirt cheap, I ordered it online. It was only the equivalent of about 12 US dollars. And after I ordered it, I saw it on sale for less than $9. Technology has come a long way. When I was a kid, my dad had a battery charger. It was huge, whereas this one's really small. And it just put out a fixed voltage. If you got the leads uh, switched the wrong way around, it would cause damage. And if you left it on too long, it would overcharge the battery. There are no such issues with this thing. It's all microprocessor controlled. If you put the leads on the wrong way, it will tell you. And it monitors the battery very carefully and when it's fully charged, it won't charge anymore, so you can't overcharge your battery. It's uh, uh, far cleverer than the battery chargers I remember from my youth. Here's the box it came in. You can get it in red or yellow, if that makes a difference. And there are some instructions in English. And because I bought it in Thailand, there's also a translation in Thai. Now let's see how to use it. And there are instructions depending on whether the battery is in or out the car. There's no need to disconnect it if it's in the car. And what it tells me to do is first put the red connector onto the positive post. Always a bit wary when I'm playing with car electrics because there's a, a lot of current involved. And it says to place the, the black connector on a piece of the chassis that's not painted. Obviously, if the battery's out of the car, you've got to put the negative connector onto the negative battery post. There's also instructions for uh, regarding whether the car is positively or negatively earthed. And really, you're only going to come across a, a car with a positive earth if you're doing a, a restoration of a very old car. All modern cars have a negative earth. Once the device is connected to the battery, you then need to attach it to an AC socket. And once you've done that, you'll hear a fan come on inside the device to keep it cool. And you'll see this red light flash in to indicate that it's charging. And you'll also see some information in the LCD. What you see is the internal battery temperature, which is currently reading 24 degrees centigrade. You'll see the, the charge voltage, 13.9 volts, and the charge current, which is 4.4 amps. If there's a fault with the unit or the way you've connected it, this light will illuminate. And there's also a repair switch, which I haven't used because this battery isn't actually that old. But inside a battery, you've got lead plates and sulfuric acid. And the chemical reaction creates the electricity. Now, what can happen is that lead sulfate crystals accumulate on the lead plates and reduce the efficiency of the battery. They can be removed with electricity, but if you put in too much electricity or apply it the wrong way, it can damage the battery. So what this unit does, it sort of pulses the electricity at the right voltage and current to remove the lead sulfate crystals without actually damaging the battery. So as I say, I haven't, I haven't done that yet because this battery is quite new, 
But when it gets a bit older and I start having problems starting, I guess I'll give that a try and see if it does actually repair the battery. Batteries last a lot longer in cold climates. Where, where I live in Thailand, it's very hot all year round and batteries only tend to last between sort of two and three years. I've charged the battery already, so it's not actually necessary to do this. I'm only, I'm only doing this to, to make the video. But when I did charge it, it took a very long time. Uh, what they tell you in the instructions is a 12 amp hour battery takes 2.5 hours, 20 amp hours, 5 hours, 40 amp hours, 9 hours, 60 amp hours, 13 hours, and 100 amp hours, 22 hours. This battery is I think 75 amp hours and it took 20 hours to charge. And once it's fully charged, you'll see full on the LCD screen. And then they recommend that after that point, you, you leave the device attached for another uh, one or two hours, just to make sure that the, the battery is completely full. I've only just received the device, but my first impressions are very good, especially considering the low price. As I say, a few days ago, I had a completely dead battery and couldn't do anything. And after using the device to charge the battery, the car burst into life. I don't think it's really intended to completely recharge dead batteries because it takes such a long time. But what it's very good for is just keeping batteries in tip-top condition. And if you do have a battery that's getting old and is suffering with sulfation, the repair mode should break down those lead sulfate crystals and allow you to use the battery for a little bit longer than usual. Time will tell if it's reliable and whether the repair function does what it's claimed to do. But at the moment, it's a little device that I'm very happy to recommend. I hope this was useful. If it was, please consider liking and subscribing. And as a result, the Google algorithm might start giving me a little bit more love in the future. Thank you.